Hi guys, Paul here for Tech Freak TV. Hope you're all doing well. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to render a 720p video using Sony Movie Studio Platinum 12. So the first thing you need to do is obviously install the software. Once you have the software installed, which is this one here, if you open it up, it just takes a few seconds to, to load and um, then I'll show you how you get it set up and programmed for 720p. It is going to be MPEG-4 720p, so it's going to be the perfect format for if you want to upload your videos to YouTube. There we go. All right, so now that's loaded up. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do here is click New. And then there's a few settings in here that we do need to set. So first off, if we start from the top, depending on what region you're in, uh, whether you're on PAL or NTSC, I'm on PAL, so I'll leave that as it is. The audio, you want to leave that in stereo. Uh, I don't know if you want to make a note, but you need to select internet video, which is this one here. And then you also need to select internet HD. Uh, from here, if you give your project a name, so I'll just put in YouTube 720, 720p. There you go. And I'd always recommend here where it says manage project files requires name project. It's um, It just gives you better organization for where uh, it saves your projects. So I'd always say to click that one and then click OK. All right, well, I'll just make that bigger screen. So now once you've got this far, you've got an icon over here, which is your project video properties. If you click on this icon, then you'll open your project video properties. It's like a dialog box which comes in here. So now that you're in here, what you want to do is just check that these are correct. So you should have uh, 25 there for your frame rate on PAL. Uh, obviously, if it was on NTSC, it would be 29, but we leave that on 25 for PAL. Uh, the stereoscopic 3D, obviously, you're going to leave that off. The width is 1280 by 720. Here, for your field order, you want none, pro progressive scan. And the pixel aspect ratio, you want to leave that set to 1000. And if we move over to the audio, so as you can see, you've got stereo. Uh, the sample rate, you've got 48 or 44.1. I just tend to leave it on 48,000. It seems to work fine. The bit depth, 16, and the resample stretch quality, leave that on good. There are some other um, sections here, but I don't tend to get too involved with those. This is the main one here. And if you want, you could uh, put a name in here and then save that. So every time that you come in, you can just use this. So we're going to click OK on that one. So now that you've uh, put the settings in for 720p, next thing you're going to want to do is obviously make your video. So I'll just pull off a couple of files just quickly just to show you so uh, you could see how it works and then how to get it rendered. Let's go for this one and let's say we'll take that one and we'll take that one, that one, that one and we'll take that one. Okay, so now it's going to bring those into the project area. So what I'll do, I'll just bring those down. Put that in there. So we're going to have some pictures. There. Oh, just tuck that one up. Let's get that a little bit closer. That one. And we'll bring the video in here as well. Okay, so obviously what you will be doing is obviously doing your, audit, your editing on here. Um, if you've got external audio or recorded audio, then you can bring that into here and uh, put any titles and transitions in. But uh, so say this is your fully finished project. Um, first thing I recommend that you do is if you go up to the top, click on project and then click on the save as. And then you obviously decide, this is going to save it within itself here. So um, I can keep the same file name or if you want to save it to your desktop. And then keep the same name, YouTube 720p, and save that. So now that file is going to be saved to your desktop. Now this is the bit that 
you need to do next to make sure that you upload in MP4 720p. So if you see here, it's got render as, click on render as, and it's gonna open another box with some various settings that uh, you'll be able to choose from the different formats, MP4s and stuff. So I'll just show you the correct one and how you save it. So that's just loading up templates. Right, so now all the templates have been loaded. Um, so from here you can select your favorite templates only, uh, match to project settings and or video. I always tend to click just for the video. All right, and then what you'd wanna do along here is if you look for, da, 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 let's have a look. It's not Windows Media, ABC. Where are we going to look? Right, here we go. So the Sony ABC MVC MP4, this is the one that you're going to want to select. And then it's going to give you a drop down. So you'd want the one that says internet 1280 by 720. So click this one. I know it says 30p, but this is the one that you, you want to select. So it's the Sony AVC MVC MP4. Okay, if you click on customize template, so now that we're in here, what you can do then is I'd recommend that you save uh, save this under another title name. So you can click this. Again, maybe you want to put this as YouTube 720 and then click. I've already done that and I'll show that to you in a minute. But then what that will do, it will save this template over here with your list. Okay, and then if you want, you can put a star next to it and then that will then become a favorite. So you can just select favorites only. I will be doing another video for um, for 1080 HD rendering using this as well, so make sure you go and check out my other video. Okay, so from here, um, you want to make sure the video format is on AVC. The frame size, obviously we're doing 1280 by 720, so you want to select the 1280 720 high definition. All of this lot, you can um, leave it as it is. There you've got the PAL, so you've got 25 there frames per second so you want to select power again the field order leave that on oh so change that leave the field order on progressive scan uh, pixel aspect ratio a thousand now here the bit rate now 16 um, on bit rate is just way 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 too high that I just cause such a long time for it to be uploaded and obviously downloaded if you're looking at this over the internet um, what I've found from trial and error is between three and five is uh, more than enough for for your videos. So I, I tend myself personally, if you put four in there, and that's sort of ideal for your for your rendering. And uh, next, year what you want to go to is go to your audio and sample rates 48. You've got your bit rate here, which is a uh, 128. What I recommend, you can push that up to 192,000. Keep your coding, audio coding mode on stereo, but this is the only one you want to change here. Change that to 192,000. So once you've changed that, there are some other tabs, but I just find if you leave those alone, it works fine. So as I said, the next you'd want to do is put a name in before the internet, save it, and then that's now going to be saved here as a file. Click OK. So now this is the one here that we've just put in. It's coming at the top. So as I said, if you wanted to make it a favorite, just click the star there and then that becomes a favorite with the yellow star. Once that's highlighted, then you'll click render. And once you click render, then obviously your video is gonna start rendering. It's gonna give you a window. Actually, I'll just show you it. So there you go. It's gonna give you the window here. It's gonna let you know the percentage running across the top. Approximate time left is shown on the top and elapsed time or the time passed will be shown on the bottom. You do get an image over here on the right. It doesn't work really in real time, so it does stutter a little bit, but that has no bearing on the, the finished render. And then obviously once this is done, here you'll have a choice to open it or open the folder, the location folder where this file is being saved. I would normally, once it's fully rendered, open folder location, I'd find that folder and then I'd just copy or paste or cut it and paste it in the folder that I need. So that's how you render an MP4 720p video using uh, Movie Studio Platinum 12. 
If you've got any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.